Yeah, and now I'm going to con continue with the second dream that I had. Is this dream was shorter? It was, uh, yeah, maybe like five seconds long or something. But still, it was interesting. It was about the rapture of the church, and yeah, there was the Lord was just showing me I could. Yeah, there was. I, I'm just going to tell you the things that I remember. I don't remember everything. Um, yeah, I was just hearing trumpets and I also had a feeling that the rapture was imminent, that it was, that it's here, that it can happen every moment now. And yeah, I was also in prayer um, about these topics in these days with the Lord. And yeah, God is fascinating. He sent me confirmation dreams. And I also see so many brothers and sisters um, in Christ from everywhere or yeah, mostly from America or just like yet yeah, they're having those dreams they're having dreams and visions like it's being prophesied and yeah we we are the last generation this is we should be expecting the Lord's return at the rapture like nothing else yeah and um, now I have got a little gift for you brothers and sisters um, I share I created a kind of left behind letter where I summed up just some information yeah if you wanted you can just like still listen it's maybe I can help somebody with you of you with that it's just information um, about the end times about the great tribulation summed up it's like four pages long and I will also um, put like a link into this into the description where you can download it or look at it and maybe you can send it to friends or print it out you are also welcome to pass it out in your neighborhood or whatever you want and yeah I'm just going to start reading now and um, it's all it's just about end time prophecy yeah and okay let's start a left behind letter this note has nothing to do with the Jehovah's Witnesses or any kind of sect it's all about the teachings of Jesus Christ based on the Bible. Dear reader, this left behind letter should inform you about what is going to happen very soon. Sadly, the most people haven't realized that we are living in the biblical, biblical end of days and that it is not long anymore until Jesus Christ returns to this earth. I want to bring up a bunch of biblical end time prophecies for you here, which prove that because we Christians are supposed to bring light into the darkness. How, how everything will start. The rapture will happen before the seven year tribulation begins. In this seven year tribulation, sorry, God will pour out his wrath on humanity because it has fallen away from the true teachings of Christ. But before that, millions of people are going to be taken away from the earth at once, the true Christians, in the twinkling of an eye, just like that. Everybody will see it. Some might say it's a UFO attack, but it's the rapture. If you were left behind, you weren't <coughs> you weren't a born again Christian, but only those can enter heaven after death. Don't be foolish and accept Jesus Christ as your savior as long as you can. If you die without him, eternal hell will be your destiny. How it will continue. The Great tri Tribulation is being described as a horrible time period with lots of deception, chaos, death and manipulation. A fully devil-controlled world leader, the Antichrist, Barack Obama, will terrify the people and lead many into eternal hell, together with the false prophet. Be aware of the government and any kind of new spiritualism or world religion that will come up. It's a satanic doctrine and part of the Antichrist system. Barack Obama will have the authority over all countries of the world as the Antichrist. Someday it will also become necessary for everybody to get an RFID implant into the right hand or forehead for trading, which the Bible describes as the mark of the beast. Don't accept it. Once you do that, there will be no turning back out of eternal hell. Read Revelation 14, 9-11. And yeah, I... There is, I'm not going to read those verses, but yeah, you can just Google them, Revelation 14, 9 to 11. And yeah, this, it's also on this uh, document here so that the reader can like see this verse. 
God already God already wants us so I'm going to continue now. God already wants us today and wants you to be part of the rapture. We can see thousands of normal people who are born again in Jesus Christ having dreams and visions about coming end time events. This is not a coin coincidence, it is being prophesied in Acts 2, 16 to 18. And there's also the verse. I'm not going to read the verse now. Those visions can be found through just typing in the following keywords into a search engine. End time prophetic dreams, Barack Obama antichrist dreams, RFID mark of the beast dreams or rapture dreams. Don't lose time and inform yourself now. Maybe politicians will take them down for security reasons in the great tribulation. Tribulation. Those are complex dreams and visions, inspired by God, shared by normal people. And again, this is not linked to any kind of re religious organization. And I also don't command anybody to give me money or anything else. I just want to give you important information. Beware of the devil who spreads wrong information through people who lie or follow false teachings. There are many of those on the internet. Get filled with the Holy Spirit and let God guide you. More and more obvious signs prove that the Bible is the tr only true word of God. The Bible mentioned the conflict in the Middle East that we can see today a long time ago. Why? Because it was godly inspired. Isaiah 17.1 is clearly forming. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city and it shall be a ruinous heap. In the outskirts of Damascus, like Jobar, we can already see destruction. It's just a matter of time until the real city will be destroyed. Another biblical end-time prophecy got fulfilled through Iranian military attacks, attacks against Israel on May 9th. And then there's also a New York Times article with the following headline. Uh, I, Iran fires rockets into Golan Heights from Syria, Israelis say. And, it's, and, and it was published on May 9th, 2018, so that the reader also has a proof. Zechariah 12, 1 to 6. And I'm going to read this Bible passage out now because it's quite important. The Lord who stretches, who stretches out the heavens, who lays the foundation of the earth, and who forms the human spirit within a person declares, I am going to make Jerusalem a cup that sends I am going to make Jerusalem a cup that sends all the surrounding peoples reeling. Judah will be besieged as well as Jerusalem. <coughs> On that day, when all the nations of the earth are, are gathered against her, I will make Jerusalem an immovable rock for all the nations. All who try to move it will endure themselves. On that day I will strike every horse with panic and its rider with madness, declares the Lord. I will keep a watchful eye over Judah, but I will blind all the horses of the nations. Then the clans of Judah will say in their hearts, the people of Jerusalem are strong, because the Lord Almighty is their God. On that day I will make the clans of Judah like a firepot in a woodpile, like a flaming torch among sheep. They will, they will consume all the surrounding peoples right and left. But Jerusalem will, will remain intact in her, in her place. We can see how the Bible describes the protection of Israel through God. The small Israel doesn't win these conflicts because it has such an overwhelming military power. Furthermore, you can find hundreds of other newer newspaper articles online which are talking about the ongoing conflict between Israel and its surrounding nations. Israel doesn't get damaged. There are also many YouTube channels and Facebook pages which are talking about the soon return of Jesus, like Rapture Watchers or JD Farag. I don't own any of these websites. There you can inform yourself about the tons of biblical end time prophecies which have been fulfilled already or are fulfilling themselves at the moment. But again, humans and their Humans and their interpretations can be wrong, God can't. We can only trust him. He loves you so much and he doesn't want you to end up in the great tribu tribulation or in eternal hellfire. Many false teachings. Be aware of modern Christians out there in these last days 
who aren't teaching you the truth about the gospel. The most have fallen away. They don't want to do what the Son of Man clearly told his followers 2000 years ago, live a holy life. The Bible forbids drinking, partying, drug consumption or homosexuality. homosexuality. Those are just a few examples. That's all sin. As a Christian, we should try everything to, beco to become more and more like Jesus, who served, an example for, who served as an example for us. <coughs> Read Romans chapter 6. Those so-called Christians are in love with the world and they spend their free time with drinking, partying, etc. They believe that Jesus Christ also died for their willful sin, which is disastrous and a satanic lie. Romans 6, 1-2 what shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Je Jesus clearly told us that one specific generation won't pass until he un won't pass until he returns. The generation which which sees Israel becoming a nation. Many generations in the past thought that Jesus Christ would come back when they were alive. But they were all wrong. Jesus said the following about his second coming in Matthew 24, 32 to 34. And this is the New International Version, by the way. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as it its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. And with it, there is being meant the second coming of Jesus here in this context. The fig tree is a symbol for Israel. We can find many Bible verses proving that. When I found Israel, it was like finding grapes in the desert. <coughs> when I saw your ancestors, it was like seeing the early fruit on the fig tree. But when they, but when they came to Baal Peor, they consecrated themselves to that shameful idol and became as vile as the thing they loved. Hosea 9.10 a nation has invaded my land, a mighty army without number. It has the teeth of a lion, the fangs of a lioness. It has laid waste my vines and ruined my fig trees. It has stripped off their bark and thrown it away, leaving their branches white. Joel 1, 6-7 And there's being talked about the plague that has come over Israel in this context here. And now I'm going to continue. For a long time the Jews were spread around all over the world, but they were gathered back together in 1948 when the state of Israel was founded. This clearly set a starting point for, a starting point for the last generation. The second coming of Jesus Christ is being compared to baby wounds, which means that signs for his return show up faster and faster. We can clearly see that today because of all those end-time prophecies fulfilling faster and faster. For example, we mentioned conflict in the Middle East, the falling away of the church, the foundation of Israel in 1948 and many more. Just look at those Facebook pages. The frequency of end-time prophecies fulfilling increases more and more in front of our eyes. Supernatural signs. Another baby wound was a blood moon on July 27th, 2018, which is being mentioned in Acts 2.20. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. Only God is in control of the heavens and the planets. Don't ignore all those obvious signs. Turn back to Jesus Christ as long as you can. Don't be foolish. The other biblical end-time prophecies are also about to fulfill themselves sooner or later, sooner or later, and in the end Jesus Christ will come back. And don't forget, in the great tribulation, God's wrath will be poured out on, on humanity. You can get a foretaste of that in Revelation 16, 1-21. And I'm not gonna read all this, but yeah, it's just being, there's just being described the wrath of God, all those plagues, and yeah, it's going to be a horrible time. 
yeah sorry brothers and sisters um, as you can hear I've got an accent but um, I hope that you could understand everything like I said there's going to be a link in the description box it's important like that we it's important for us brothers and sisters that we spread that we, that we spread information and important information you understand like in my home country I, I heard nobody talking about the fact that Israel uh, about the fact that we are the last generation we saw Israel becoming a nation and, and nobody nobody was talking about it it's unbelievable and it and it's exactly like the Bible prophesizes prophesized it 2000 years ago it's like in the days of Noah nobody is talking about the end times nobody almost nobody and yeah it's and nobody's talking about the rapture of the church in my home country I live in Germany nobody's talking about this here nobody no no church member talk talked about it they were even blaming me they were thinking that I was like a stupid they were they were blaming me they, it was unbelievable and yeah I, I can feel all those spiritual attacks and everything else Satan knows that his time is running out this is so clear yeah, and we should be always be in, in the word of God. We should always be in prayer with the Lord. Yeah, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed this left my left behind letter. Um, yeah, download it if you want. And yeah, brothers and sisters, God bless you all. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And see you in the rapture. Amen.